I actually thought the Scotland played better against Serbia and uh, they probably deserved to, to win the game. Uh, the game on uh, Tuesday night didn't play as well as we all imagined they could do, or I suppose the players and management think they could play better, I would imagine that. Um, and Macedonia had two or three good players. Bande was the best player on the pitch. And it just shows, we talk about tactics, and bits and bobs. It's still players that decide games. Bande mm. was the one who's got to win the game, I thought. Some some Scotland fans and you know people talking and saying that maybe Craig Levine's under a bit of pressure. Do you think he is, or do you think Scotland are doing as well as they can given the current circumstances? Um, every manager's under pressure, and you're only a game away from pressure at a national level. That's for sure. Um, but the pressure only comes really from within yourself. The media pressure and the um, that is a fantasy pressure. If you if you want to listen to that, read it, look at it then you'll, the pressure will build on you. If you deal with reality, people say a few people booed, I was at the first game, yeah, there may have been about 100 who booed. There was 50,000 there. Mm. And I, I, the fact you go anywhere in the country this week, if the home team doesn't win, there'll be pe people booing somewhere. That's part of the makeup of British society. How much do you think they're struggling without Stephen Fletcher, who's one of the kind of most prolific strikers around at you know, domestic club level at the moment? Um, um, would, would you be able to see Fletcher in there? I'm sure he's played a few games for Scotland and uh, I don't know if they, they've reached the mystical, magical heights that people think they could do with Stephen Fletcher in it. The fact that Stephen Fletcher doesn't want to play for Scotland, so uh, there's no point in looking at what we do with Stephen Fletcher for somebody who doesn't want to play. How important then is the next game against Wales in the in the qualifiers? Chance to kind of get some it's big morale. For both sides, that's for sure. Um, uh, it'll be big for both sides, and I think it'll be deciding factor for both sides if they just uh, one and all have to win it to have any chance of staying in the race to get to Rio.